Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About a week or so ago, Microsoft announced on Twitter that the new Windows 11 Microsoft Store was starting to roll out to Windows 10 users. And in that tweet, Microsoft said that the new store was coming to Windows 10 PCs and would be rolled out in phases for Windows 10 users. And that would be to non-insiders, as up until that stage, the store had been tested out over in the insider program. And Microsoft also said that if you didn't get the update straight away, not to worry, as it would be getting to you quickly in the future. Now, I've been waiting for the last week or so. And finally, yesterday, the new Windows 11 Microsoft Store um, rolled out to my Windows 10 device, as you can see. Now, I have been using the new store over on Windows 11, so I do you know, know my way around it. And um, um, I'm quite used to the new look and feel. But I thought I'd just do... Uh, you know this video for those of you who have not received the new store yet because there have been reports that a lot of Windows 10 users have received the new store already so I thought I'll just do this for those of you who have not received uh, the new store just to keep you updated and posted. Now the first thing you can see is that the store has the whole new Windows 11 visual redesign and look the more modern look fluent design rounded corners and the whole store has received a whole new visual refresh to the look and feel. Um, your menu options now are found on the left. Your home, apps, gaming. Um, your library also has received a redesign. And just a side note, if you'd like to try and force the update, just in the old store on your Windows 10 machine, just go um, and check for updates, get updates. And this is what I did yesterday. And as you can see, it rolled out to me yesterday, the new Microsoft Store. So just go try that if it isn't being pushed out, you know, automatically to your device from Microsoft. Now, this new store basically has a whole lot of new features and refreshments. And um, as mentioned, over and above the new look, there is a new store policy, and um, which also now makes um, Win32 applications available through the new store. And some of those, just as examples, would be TikTok, VLC, just to mention one or two. And then some popular web browsers are already available uh, in the store. Microsoft Edge is available, Oprah, and also Firefox has also become recently available. So you can download um, a lot of popular Win32 applications now straight from the store um, instead of going online to download those popular apps. Now, I found, uh, you know, using the store for quite some time now that it's a lot more user-friendly and usable than the old one and I personally feel that the old Windows 10 store was getting a little bit outdated and I think this is a nice uh, move forward for the Windows uh, 10 operating system with the new store now available and rolling out to Windows 10. Now at this stage it's not clear if the store on Windows 10 is going to be getting Android app support. Currently Android apps is being tested uh, for Windows 11 in the Insider program and that will eventually roll out to Windows 11 but at this stage it's not clear if Android apps will become available for the store on Windows 10 machines but going forward and moving forward though a lot of new apps are going to be added um, uh, to the new store on Windows 10 moving forward and that will a lot of those will be added um, next year in 2022. So I just wanted to let you know if you haven't received it already that the new Windows 11 Microsoft Store is now rolling out more and be becoming more widely available to Windows 10 PCs. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.